Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> this next one's gonna be about greasing your bearings. So let's go over to the tool bench. We'll see what tools we need to get started on greasing the wheels on our trailer. Okay, let's take a look at the stuff we need to get this job done. We've got our breaker bar. Breaker bar's got the right socket on for taking the wheels off. I've got a torque wrench so I can torque the wheels afterwards. Just a cheap pair of gloves. Keep your hands clean, optional. Uh, some paper towel. Got my grease here. This is my red grease. Uh, Lucas number two. And then I've got my grease gun. So those are the things we need to get started. Okay, the grease gun, we're gonna load up. Just kind of depends on what kind of grease gun you have. Pull this back. This, this is a Pittsburgh brand. Um, this just self locks. And we're gonna load our grease tube in. So you've got this, you gotta lift this tab, pull it out. You're gonna take this plastic cap off first. You're gonna insert that into the tube first. And then just like a pop can, you're gonna pop the top. From there, we're gonna take the head and just screw the head right on. Make sure you get it all the way seated. You might have some leaks. Okay, to make it very stable in the front for taking the wheel off, we're gonna take this um, wheel dolly out. Okay, on my mid-range, I have jacks. These are 2,000 pound rated, so I'm going to deploy my rear jack. These jacks will lift the tire off the ground. Now, I can't say this is hiker recommended. This is just how I do it. We're gonna break the lugs loose before we raise the tire off the ground. So once we do that, then we can just spin the lugs off. Now that we got the lugs broke, we're gonna raise the back and raise the front evenly and take the tire off the ground. Okay, if you had a gun or something, you could run these off a little quicker. Next thing we do is get the tire out of the way. Not like that. Okay, now we pull the tire off. Be careful with this. Let's just give it a little push. It's gonna come out from the backside. We don't want that to fall and get all scratched up. Okay, what you're gonna do is put the, uh, attach the grease gun to the zert, and you're gonna spin the wheel at the same time you're spinning the wheel, or the hub, I should say. Um, you're gonna pump it in. You're gonna go through probably a third to a half a tube of uh, grease. Kinda depends on how much you had in there. And then the black stuff's gonna start coming out. Okay, I'm gonna pause it a second, see all that old grease on there. It's like this brown color. Kind of like this ooey gooey brown color. It's not bright red anymore. So that's what we're trying to get rid of. Take the screwdriver, capture the old stuff, try to dig it out of there best you can. It's gonna be a messy job. That's why I got the gloves back on. See ahead of that thing? It is loaded with dirty grease. Okay, this is fresh grease, this is dirty grease. So that's what you wanna squirt out until that's gone and you've got this nice fresh red looking grease. That's when you know to stop. So like I said, went through about two thirds of a tube, roughly. So we're all set. We're gonna wipe things down and put everything back together. Okay, now that we've cleaned up the outside, we're just going to replace the rubber cap. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I pried off the center cap and just use a straight slotted screwdriver. Be really careful. This is plastic. Just kind of a little bit of a, a pry all the way around. And you'll get it to pop right off. Pretty easy. Then the next thing I got is inside. You got a little rubber um, kind of a dust cap. So we're going to pry that out with a screwdriver. Kind of grab it on the corner and pry it out. Just a small little rubber cap there. 
set that to the side. Once you get it firmly attached with this Dexter system, I want you to just keep pumping it in and the old grease will pump itself out. So I'm gonna spin the wheel while I'm pumping it in. You can do it with the wheel on, but the thing you gotta be careful about, it's a little more messy. You're gonna get more of that grease on the inside of this cap. Okay, so we greased it with the wheel on, with the wheel off. And you can see, if you do it with the wheel on, you're probably gonna have it looking like that inside the hub. I recommend doing it with the wheel off, just for that reason. Got a lot of extra grease in the bottom. Let me flip it over. Yeah, it all got kind of caught inside there. Plus, you risk uh, scratching this outside ring up when you're taking that cap off. So, my recommendation is do it with the wheel off. When you have your grease gun out and you're doing your bearings, just give a couple of pumps into the jack and that will keep everything lubed up inside of your jack so you have no problems. Changing a tire on the hiker is so easy. Wendy is showing us how it's done. Just snug them in a star pattern. And then we're gonna torque them. We'll drop it all the way down and do the final torque. Good? Okay. All right. Okay, the project's all wrapped up. Thanks for watching. Uh, as you can see, my wife Wendy was out here helping. It's that easy that she could do it. It's your choice whether you do it with the wheel on or the wheel off. Um, I think it's a lot easier with the wheel off because of the mess. It just keeps things a little cleaner. But if you're willing to do it the other way, maybe do it a little slower, keep the grease from falling down into the center cap, you should be okay. Either way, Easy Lube, I watch their YouTube channel. They show um, it with the wheel on for most applications. It's your choice. So uh, like, share, and subscribe. Any comments on anything we did today, put it down below. I'll see what I can do to answer it. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Take care.